so I've always worn this hat, uh, you know, the RTDB hat. Uh, it's always just been my thing. And, um, you know, coming up on the holiday season, I really wanted to do something to where we could help give back to the community. Um, so we kind of had this project set up early on and, uh, in the season and I didn't really feel comfortable putting it out then, but then I was like, Hey, it's holiday season. We already put all this work in. So let's, uh, let's do something good. Um, so I've really enjoyed, you know, meeting with the West Alabama food bank people and, uh, setting that up. So, uh, we're selling these hats, all the proceeds for the holiday season, go to West Alabama food bank and, um, super start some ass in the game, play fast. Uh, As coach this senior day happening on Saturday for someone that really worked through the program, what, what does that mean to, to kind of do your time instead of just starting right away and kind of paid off the hard work? Yeah, it's flown by, uh, you know, I remember look, thinking back to high school about how fast those four years flew by and as a senior. And then I got here and I was like, oh, this will be a little bit longer. The seasons are longer and uh, the years are longer, it feels like. But, man, as, as I look back and, you know, four years have almost come to an end, it's it's pretty crazy. Um, you know, playing in Alabama has been an incredible blessing for me and just personally and football-wise. It's a lot of hard work's gone into it. Um, and, you know, it's just – it's the biggest blessing that I've ever had. And uh, I'm just super thankful for Coach Saban believing in a little undersized 6'3", 260 center from Buford, Georgia, uh, all those years ago. And, um, you know, coming as the lowest ranked recruit in the class, it's it's meant a lot for me to, you know, put the work in and show people that, you know, through hard work, you can play here and uh, you can play at a high level. So. It's sticking with that theme. Just where are you at in your, your master's degree? And uh, have you given any thought to maybe using an extra year of eligibility? Um, so I'm really just focused on the next four games. I don't really know what, what the future holds for me. Um, but whatever we have left of this season, I'm going to give my all for. But uh, right now I'm finishing up my master's degree in December. Um, so I'll have that. And I'll have that. My master's of sports, hospitality, management, and then my undergrad in finance. I'll have all that done in four years. So. Over the last couple of weeks, month of the season, the offensive line has improved yeah. overall, but also the snapping issues that you're dealing with has kind of gone away. Did you change anything up with that or kind of what led to that being sorted out? Uh, so the things with the snap issues, that was, I just ended up changing my grip and, you know, it's been a more consistent thing for me. I went to the dead ball snap. So I think the, the inaccurate snaps have cleaned up a little bit. That's still a thing I'm still trying to work on, you know, just cleaning up the snaps in practice and in the game, it's starting to carry over, just putting an emphasis on, you know, how important it is to get the ball in Milrose's hands to let him go to work and uh, do what he's so good at. Uh, but speaking about the offensive line, it's it's finally starting to come together. And it's, you know, we're, trying, we're starting to gel as a group and uh, kind of do everything that, you know, we want to do at the beginning of the season. And, you know, through the work on the technique with Coach Wolford and just the way we're playing ball right now, is, uh, it's really helped. Uh, just the regular, you know, spiral snap. Yeah, Seth, you talk about your, your time developing here and getting the role you are now. Uh, two years ago, I, I think it was toward the end of the season, you had some really some key experience that you got, especially in that SEC championship. I mean, how did those that experience you got help you uh, to get to where you are now? What did you learn from kind of that early experience? Uh, I kind of, the beginning of my career was kind of trial by fire. Uh, my first meaningful playing snaps came in the second half of the Iron Bowl at the four overtime win. Uh, and that was a crazy experience for a redshirt freshman. I mean, I was a third string center going in to the day and then having to play meaningful snaps. It was, it was crazy. And then, you know, the next week having to go and play Georgia uh, and get my first start at the SEC championship game, that was crazy to me. And, you know, it kind of just proved, uh, you know, I, it proved to myself that I belonged, that I could play here. Um, but, it, you know, and when you go through hard times, you kind of look back on, okay, if I was able to do this, then I can do that again. Um, so it kind of helps you get through the, the ebbs and flows of the season. You know, going through practice, you're going against incredible players. So there, there'll be a week when, you know, they learn something new and you're like, oh my goodness, am I bad at football? And then uh, the next week you get them because you learn something new and you learn how to beat them. So kind of just having those experiences to fall back on and just being able to say, okay, I, I can do this. It, it, it meant a lot. How much has Jaden Roberts kind of helped you too, having him right next to you? And how, how strong is he, first of all? And what, what's he like playing next to you? Uh, I've never seen a weight that Jaden Roberts couldn't pick up. You know, whatever whatever we put on the bar, 
it goes down and it goes back up very, very fast. Uh, so we might need to get a longer bar for him to put more weight on it to really show us how strong he is. But, you know, he's an incredible person. He's incredible. Uh, he's, he's a freak of nature with how strong he is. Um, and it's been, it's really, it's been nice playing next to him because you know that, you know, his one hand is stronger than my two probably. So if he just sticks one hand out there, you get a lot of help from him. So. As someone who goes against him in practice, what have you seen from Tim Keenan from where he was last year to being a major contributor for the defense this year? Yeah, Tim Keenan's probably a guy that I'm one of the proudest proudest of on the team. Uh, you know, last year he didn't get a lot of playing time and uh, he, he was going through a lot of stuff. And then, uh, you know, he really started showing leadership and is a devout Christian and he started coming into his own. And he's been a huge piece of our defense this year. And uh, I love Tim Keenan. He's one of the best people on the team to talk to and, uh, just to see that, you know, all of this hard work starting to pay off. Uh, it's It's been incredible. Anyone else? Thanks, man. All right. Appreciate you all.